Hello, everybody, and a massive welcome to the Tiger 2020 relaunch party. How are you doing? Yes, I've got my party shirt on. When you get to your mid to late 30s, not often you get the party shirt on. So here I am rocking the double denim on a Friday night. Delighted to be hanging out with you tonight. We're going to talk a little bit of XL VBA, nothing too heavy nothing too technical. Uh, we're going to have a course giveaway to, uh, today. So a bit of a relaunch for the channel. I'll tell you a bit about that. And we are going to be giving away a course, which is worth £150, about 12 hours of tuition on there. I have been working my backside off over the past two or three months to bring my absolute best stuff to the table. And just below me, in the ticker, in the ticker below me, you'll see the put me in hashtag the put me in hashtag we'll talk about that in just a second but before we do let's say hello to everybody uh in the chat so john is with us today john i don't think i've seen you uh in one of our live streams but a big hello to you john and whereabouts are you in the world uh Liju is with us Liju is over in india welcome Liju. good to have you with us paul is with us hiding paul paul is having an alcohol-free month. I've got to admit, I do have some liquid refreshment here tonight. Mm. So whether you're having a beer, a coffee, a Diet Coke, definitely grab yourself a drink tonight. Who else is with us? Yes, we've got the Australian contingent, Andrew, over in Perth, Australia. Welcome. Carlos is with us. Carlos, how are you? Thanks for all your comments on the channel, Carlos. I always warm, uh, read those, try to reply when I can. Steve, welcome. Steve, a bit of a newcomer to the channel. Thanks for your comments today on today's video release, Steve. Uh, really appreciate that. Klaus is with us as well. How are you doing, Klaus? Uh, HD Merkins is with us. Um, whereabouts are you in the world, HD Merkins? Oh, there's loads of people. Uh, uh, Shane is with us. Welcome, Shane. Dave Mason. Welcome, Dave. Good to see you. Ian is with us. Ian is one of our members, Monday members. Fantastic to see you. Uh, Lee is, is tuning in. Welcome, Lee. Then we've got Danny tuning in, Nikki as well. How's it going, Nikki? Good to see you. DC tuning in uh, from stateside. We've got Nuts at the Wheel tuning in. How are you? Uh, good to see you. Alan Lawson. Alan, have I seen you on the stream before? I'm not sure, but good to see you. Nathan tuning in. Another one from Down Under. Fantastic to see you. And Craig as well. Good to see you, Craig. Uh, Tio is with us here. So Tio, are you new, new to the channel? I don't think I've seen you, seen you before. Um... Uh, Michael is here. Welcome, Michael. Um, the Beatty one is here. And to everybody else tuning in, it's fantastic to see you. Mo hit there at the bottom. So really good to see everybody today. And um, not absolutely sure uh, exactly what we're going to be doing today, but I am going to answer your questions. And it's a little bit of a, uh, a celebration party, I suppose we could say. We've been... Uh, doing YouTube content for about eight years now, uh, 4 million views plus, 40,000 subscribers. And this summer we had a big, uh, a, a big rebrand and a big uh, relaunch and everything is being released today. So uh, if you follow the social media channels, your Facebook, your Twitters, uh, we've had new branding on there today. Uh, and the course is gonna be released on the new website, which I will show to you uh, in just a second. I do have a guide uh, with me today. Uh, thank you to Megamundus, who has just become a YouTube member. Fantastic stuff. Appreciate the support. And Nikki says she's got a glass of red wine. Excellent choice there. Uh, we'll get to the hashtag in a second. Hashtag put me in. Um, I do have a companion with me tonight. Uh, Bart is, is with us in the chat. And um, Bart has, is a good friend of mine now. And Bart has been with us on the channel for three or four years. And uh, he's a bit of a model student uh, for the channel. So came to the channel, not knowing much about Excel, Excel VBA, not from a technical background, and has really got Excel, Excel VBA working for him. And he helps me manage our Members Monday uh, community. So we're going to go to, to Bart now. Let's bring Bart into the stream. Welcome, Bart. Hello, everyone. Nice to see Hi, you Bart. all. We are uh, yeah. <laughs> with really a lot I, uh, <laughs> I have seen in the chat. Yeah, yeah, loads of people really nice. in the chat. Uh, Megamundus over in Athens there, fantastic stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah if you've got any questions, that. guys, put them in the chat. So how are you doing, Bart? Anyway, um, big welcome to you. Um, 
Yeah, uh, I'm okay. Um, had not a lot of uh, sleep today. I was working a lot, but uh, I'm okay. I was uh, counting down to this moment uh, for uh, yeah all the changes uh, that you have planned. I'm uh, kind of uh, curious what uh, yeah. you're going to do with uh, the website or whatever your plans are. So yeah. I think I'm not the only one. Um, and also, I have a nice beer with me. I'm going to promote some Belgian beer today. So <laughs> not only Excel or uh, <laughs> the website. So beer. Uh, fantastic stuff. Really nice beer. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bart actually, um, I'll tell them now, Bart, but Bart sent me a bottle of some of his favorite beer uh, over to the UK. And I've actually got, I've, I've got it here. So let me know in the chat. Have you ever seen? Have you ever tried this beer? How do you say this bar? Is it La Chauffe? La Chauffe? La La Chauffe. La Chauffe. La Chauffe. La Chauffe. Okay. Yeah, La Chauffe. So we're, and we're it's gonna... a really famous beer. Uh, you can normally you can find it all over the world. Uh, I didn't know it uh, since two years ago, uh, but the beer is also in Australia. Uh, there is a special one in Scotland, uh, they told me. Uh, so there are really, I think, six, six kinds. So it's, it's a nice beer. It's, the alcohol uh, is really a kind of high, but, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's really nice. And yep. most importantly, you have to, in a, this glass. This is, the, this is the glass that brings the wonders. Fantastic stuff. Now, Bart, before we start talking about beer, let's. Um, <laughs> I want you to answer this question. Yeah. Bart. We've, we've got a question from Amol uh, coming in today. So, welcome, Amol. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've seen you on the channel before, but a big welcome to you. How should you start to learn VBA? And, and Bart, you've had some success in the past few years uh, uh, learning VBA. So, how did you go about uh, learning VBA? Uh, for me, uh, the first uh, experience with VBA uh, was with my uncle, uh, and he was in uh, finance. And I was working in that time for the Red Cross, uh, managing, managing uh, all the yeah the stuff that we need for the Red Cross. And I need to do something in Excel that I can order automatically uh, what I need or uh, a kind of uh lists to uh, buy and i was doing it in excel in the classic way with looking up and v lookup and and all the mm -hmm. solutions that i know and at a certain point i was thinking uh, this so uh time it's it's there has to be other way so I, I went to my uncle and i said this is my problem and he said i will make something for you so not knowing what VBA was, he made something for, for me. Mm. And the thing that took me a lot of hours uh, to look up and, and all of that and count, uh, with the press of a button, I got everything in a few seconds, what I need uh, to buy. So it, it was mm. for me, I was, whoa, what is this? And I was, yeah, it's it's kind of in my nature to to ask what is this, how is this works. I need to know yep. what it is. Mm. Um, I totally didn't understand what it was until I think five years ago, uh, in my uh, job that I did uh, until two years ago, um, I was working a lot of in Excel, and mm -hmm. I uh, went. Uh, on the internet, like everyone, I think, and looking up what is uh, uh, VBA or what it means, what's, uh, what can you do with VBA. So I was mm -hmm. looking at a lot of things, like everyone on YouTube channels and uh, testing a lot of things, but uh, I'm, I was a kind of disappointment for me uh, because I didn't have the, the real where to start it was all the time like uh vba is this and when you like to copy something you need to write this this is the code mm. copy it you can use it 
Yeah. It was not enough for me. I need to know from beginning, from scratch, mm. and I need to understand that I can make it myself. But it's always mm. easy to, to, to look at uh, a website and copy it and uh, kind of adjusting a few things and that's it. But that is not really uh, ner- learning the skill of, of VBA or how to, to combine VBA with the cloud. And then I found your uh, YouTube uh, channel. And yeah. I also bought uh, a book, an Excel book about VBA. Mm-hmm. And I was looking. Uh, it, uh, it was written uh, from a Dutch guy, and he was also giving classes in uh, Holland. Yep. But the price was so high for me because, uh, for the people that totally don't know me, I have nothing in fa- uh, finance. I I have for me it's it's totally everything that I do now in VB is for the moment a hobby, and I I have plans for the future. Uh, yeah. but, uh, but for me, it's a hobby. So to, uh, give a thousand euros, for example, for a class, uh, for education, that is just a hobby. Okay. Maybe some people like to give uh, a thousand euros for that, but for me, it was too expensive. Mm. Um, so when I looked at your uh, website and the YouTube channel, it was like, it was good starts. Mm. Uh, I built small parts. Uh, your yep. uh, the the teaching that you gave was also. I do this. Why do I need to do this? Yeah. Um, so I think that's really important that people know the difference. What you can find on the internet that you can say, I can use this, and for the rest, I totally don't need VBA. And yep. Or you are a person that likes to know VBA. Maybe you don't use it all the time, but then you need a proper education and the the insight why VBA. And, yeah. and I think my personal uh, um, is uh, that's the difference between you and all the other uh, YouTube channels that you find. Mm, um, you. that you really explain what uh, you can do with VBA and sometimes what you can not VBA. But we need yep. to be honest. V- mm. VBA is endless, really endless. Uh, I have seen things make in VBA that I, I, for the moment, I totally don't know how to do. Uh, mm. But you when uh now since the start from members monday uh, i think last year or remember, i'm thinking a year ago almost about um, a year yeah. um yeah so i lived in the project because the before uh, when i was looking at free uh, content uh, of your site uh, i learned a lot but still not enough for me yeah. Um, okay. Well, and I believed in the well, there's, project. There's, 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 lots, there's, 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 there's lots there, Bart, isn't there? For people to, I think, yeah. I think what you yeah. said will, will, will really, will resonate with a lot of people. But a couple of things that I picked out from what Bart said is, um, I think you need to have a real world motivation for learning uh, VBA. Mm. So Bart said, uh, Bart's uncle showed him something and he thought, that's cool. I want to be able to do that. And we've had some people in the chat uh, leaving comments. And I know uh, Lee Williams, I know, for example, uh, is a trader working with lots of data all the time. So he wants to automate stuff. So what's your Mm. real world Mm. motivation? Mm. So going back to our original question, what's your real world motivation? Yeah, don't just learn it for the sake of learning it. Don't learn syntax for the sake of memorizing syntax, mm. you know, you've got to have some motivation. And then the second yeah. thing that I pulled out of, of yeah. what Bart said is, um, and I don't think it's too, you know, self-promotional because, you know, you don't have to follow me, but I think you've got to follow somebody. And, uh, you know, 
there's lots of people online, but having kind of a mentor figure somewhere you can go for resources and even what we're growing on our channel, which, which is unique, is uh, having a, a community, having a, an actual learning community. So it's very difficult to get into an Excel VBA learning community uh, unless you go to a university or you maybe uh, you're, you're working in a big company where you can get training. So, so that's the kind of thing that we're offering um, here, here on the channel. Mm. Um, yeah. So thanks for the comments, uh, everybody. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, go on, but welcome, Betty. By the way, good to see you, Betty. Um, I also, yeah, I uh, I also think, yeah, when I talk too 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 much, uh, just to, uh, say, it, Chris, but <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm 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 I need to be honest. I'm kind of uh, in uh, six months, maybe a year. Uh, uh, I've I've got the VBA addiction, I would call it. Uh, when I see some things at work and I see people doing something in Excel, I've kind of like, what are they doing? And how are they doing? But if you mm. see how many people that are not using VBA, but do every day the same thing, and maybe when you take some time and you know some maybe just copying and pasting something. Uh, how many people do that every day? Yeah. When yeah. you just make that in VBA and it's just a press of a button. I made a project six month, months ago uh, and the people that were uh, exiled in the beginning, they were counting annually copying and pasting into a mail to order things. I'm, I made it. I'm not perfect. There are still a, a few flaws in it, but mm. um, the, the, the VBA code that I made, it was, I pressed the button and in a few minutes, the VBA code was counting automatically and made the made mail with the ordering uh, uh, products automatically. So- Very nice. It's it's a few, it's 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 nice that you can make something like that. It's a good feeling. That's uh, yeah. How many hours do we uh, work in Excel sometimes and doing all the time the same thing? And that's mm. when VBA comes in. I think um, you, you know what interests me when you kind of take that argument that um, you can save one person lots of time. You know, not just minutes, maybe mm. maybe hours a week, maybe even a day a week. Mm. You could take off somebody's work week and then. But I think this idea gets interesting and it's a little bit fanciful and you've got to kind of go with me a bit. But um, what if you what if you could save 10 people that time and then save 100 people that time? And then mm. th that could actually start. Can you imagine if we could do that? You know, that could actually start yeah. having, you know. Ec productivity impacts, um, yeah. e economic mm. impacts, you know. So, and going back to, um, you mm. know, the tiger story, um, 10 years ago when when I started this, and, and my brother kind of helped me start it, we, we had this idea called the, the Excel revolution, which hasn't yet happened, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but that's, that's the idea that, that lots of actions on the micro level, so lots of individual actions, they could add up to a critical mass that could actually could actually transform things, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm still I've still got that idea in the back of my head. That's kind of my motivation. Mm. Yeah. Good, good. Well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Go on, but yeah. I may. Yeah, I don't know that there are, but I have seen a lot of questions uh, in the chat. Um, yeah, I haven't seen many questions so far, but but we've had some great comments coming in. I've just got Dave's comments uh, on the screen here, but great comments, guys. Uh, from yeah, uh, great comments up here from Mike, uh, Carlos, Paul, Adrian. Like, thanks so much for those comments. You know, it does it does mean a lot to me. Um, so so you know, great stuff. And you know, we've got to keep got to keep fighting the good fight here. You know, in the video I released this morning. I, th I think we're all in in a bit of a tribe here, believing in the power 
of, uh, of, of XL VBA. You know, if we could grow this, you know, it could uh, turn into something uh, really exciting, I think. So oh, Amol has just uh, has just commented. So Amol, Amol, sorry about the way I'm pronouncing your name. Um, but I don't know if we if we answered your question, but it was your question originally. So hopefully you'll be able to take something, uh, take something out of that. Um, but let's let's go on to um, yeah. what this is all about here. So let me know in the chat. Can yeah. you remember this? Let me know in the chat. Can you remember this? Um, so this is our, of course, mm. this is our uh, Excel Excel VBA. It used to be the random task generator, but it's been repurposed uh, for tonight. Can anybody hear that suspicious sound from Bart? By the way. I think I think Bart's pouring himself a drink. That bit suspicious, but um, yeah. Can you remember this? This was um, this has been repurposed many times in my career. I've used this file so many times. Whenever I do a training session, I get the delegate names and I put them in this file. And um, first, I show them. I, I I recommend everybody does this. Like people just seem to love it. First, I show them the Excel lottery as an example of VBA, uh, just with some random entries in. Uh, and then I say, wouldn't it be funny if um, if I had your all of your names in this file so I could randomly choose you to do, you know, to answer questions and stuff. And then obviously, if you've got their names, you say, oh, I have got your names. And they're like, what? And then you can start choosing people. And, you know, it transforms the dynamic of a training session because people think they're coming to a training session they can just kick back for the whole day, relax. Um, but if you get that sense that they might have to participate and that they don't know if they're going to participate or not, it, it's really good stuff. So Andrew says, yes, I remember that. I haven't seen it in quite a while. Alan, yes, Tiger's Tombola. Who gave it the name the Tiger's Tombola? Was that Paul uh, or, or was it you, Alan? Um, I'm not absolutely sure. But DC's right. This series, we got to... Uh, part 13, part 14, and um, didn't didn't finish it. There's good news or bad news, depending on depending on your perspective. We're going to finish this series tonight. We're going to keep going until we finish it. No, 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 that's not true. We're not going to do um, we're not going to do 16 parts tonight. <laughs> but this is coming back uh, in the near future. You know, I, I really enjoyed doing the live streams this week on the Monty Hall problem. So big shout out to everybody who watched those. Uh, but I'm going to finish this series. Um, and, you know, the views weren't great on it. The engagement wasn't great. But it's such practical stuff, uh, this series. And it's literally what I'm doing uh, day to day. Uh, Valerie just tuning in the bottom. Hi, Valerie. Good to have you with us. So, yeah, for the people who haven't uh, seen, I like Tiger's Tombola. Maybe we should just call it Tiger's Tombola. Um, for people who haven't seen the, the Tiger's Tombola, um, there go the balls, and the balls are going to just, um, you know, bounce around. Um, <laughs> because we're currently streaming live, this is taking quite a long time. <laughs> usually it's quite a lot faster than this. Um, it, it's usually finished by now. Um, oh, yeah, Betty said, yeah, and Betty is ready for part 15. Excellent stuff. Yeah, coming back soon, guys, so please be ready. Uh, be ready to support that. Okay, finally, here comes the winning ball. The winning ball comes out, and here she comes. <laughs> okay, find the dimensions of a data set. So we're not going to do this now, but we will get back to this series uh, in the future, I promise. So can you see where this is going? Can you see where this is going? Well, remember our hashtag. Hashtag put me in. And Bart is here helping me out, my glamorous assistant. Bart is going to keep an eye on the um, on the <laughs> entries here. If you want to be entered into the Excel course giveaway to win uh, the Excel VBA simulation from beginner to professional course, it's about 12 hours of material. Leave a question in the chat if you want to know more about it, because I don't want this to sound too promotional. If you want to know more about the course, um, just leave a question in the chat. It went on sale today, uh, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, show you a bit about the course uh, in a second. If you want to be in the in the draw, 
you've got to just go put me in. So I can see Carlos is in. So I'm going to go ahead. Carlos, Carlos Sanchez is in. Great job, uh, Carlos. Now, let me say a couple of things. You do have to comment and you do have to be here at the end. Okay. <laughs> but we've got a few coming in. You do have to comment. You do yeah, have yeah. To be I'm, here writing, here. I'm writing them down. I'm writing them Brilliant. down. Brilliant. Thank you, Bob. I'm, I'm doing the same. So it's, over the course of the next couple of hours. It's going really fast. It is, it is going quite fast. Um, let's have Mike Potopenko. Anyway, we're going to make sure we get everybody on here. Okay. So um, I'm just going to type these names in as they're coming in. But yeah, what am I saying? You've got to be here at the end of the stream. Sambo Cass, you are in, my friend, Sambo. Um, make sure you watch until the end. And as I said, there's no actual uh, structure for the stream. So, you know, we might still be here at midnight. Uh, I'm not sure. It depends how many beers Bart wants to have. And he's looking pretty keen tonight, I've got to say. <laughs> so, uh, so, so so we're going to see. Craig, you're in. So, so if I miss your name, all you got to do, like no stress, you know, I will catch you eventually. All you got to do is say, Chris, put me in. Hashtag put me in, um, and we will put you in. Michael, you're in. Michael Wetton is in. And Bar, I've probably missed two or three already. Uh, Hashti Aurora. Uh, I'm also writing down the hour, so. Okay. Gerhard, Gerhard, where, you, where have you been, my friend? Uh, it's good to see you, Gerhard. I haven't talked to you for a while. How are you doing? Hey, Gerhard. Yeah, Ian says, when is the end likely to be? Um, I'd, I'd say a couple of hours. Uh, you know, we're just going to hang out, have a bit of a chat. I'll tell you a bit about the course, not in a promotional way, just in a kind of, this is what I've been doing at five o'clock in the morning, every morning for the past month <laughs> kind of way. Um, no, seriously, there's there's some really cool new stuff on the course. Uh, so, so I'll show you some of that. And then, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, I will ask your question. I, I will ask your questions. I'll, I, I will uh, answer your questions as best I can. Mega Mundus is it? Yeah. So, Carlos, good question there. Mega Mundus. Okay, but um, I will leave that list. Okay, I think Bart is going to. Bart, I'm putting you in charge of the list, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Really I think so. It, it's so long, and people are so going so fast typing. I also need to scroll up and down. So, yeah, yeah, good shout. Okay, thanks very much, Bart. So, Carlos, good question here from Carlos. Uh, how is the course structure? Okay, so let me talk about the purpose of the course first. The purpose of the course is to teach you a business simulation in Excel VBA. So what is business simulation for? It's for exploring any problem where you have uh, uncertainty, uncertainty, a lot of uncertainty in the world at the moment, lots of uncertainty in business in particular, demand for a product. It could be it could be the number of people who catch uh, the coronavirus. You could look at simulating that. Um, I was asked this year to do a simulation project for um, a football data trading company, and they had no football matches. So they said to me, can you set up a simulated football league for us? So lots of different applications. I've done several projects, many of which I talk about on the course, but mainly it's just a great way to learn Excel VBA. It's so much fun when a simulation comes together. And maybe if you've watched the Monty Hall series this week and you can see it on the channel, uh, uh, stay or switch, hashtag, hashtag stay, I was, hashtag ROM, um, it's just really good fun putting together a simulation. And for a lot of learners, it brings a lot of stuff together, it gives them a lot of punch the air moments. How is it structured? Well, the main idea is there is a six hour, repeat, six hour <laughs> simulation model build walkthrough. And I take a, a blank Excel file and I build it to a professional level model it takes six hours 
During that time, we cover all kinds of aspects of Excel VBA. Not only that, we cover the topics people don't cover. Uh, things like how to structure an Excel file. How many sheets do I need? Um, things like how to manage code in VBA. You know, things like annotation, structuring code properly. All of those unglamorous topics that are actually really important, we cover on this course. So it's all built around a simulation model build. You follow along with me, build the model too. You're going to have a very powerful simulation model that's worth a lot more than what you'll pay for this course, by the way. You're going to have that uh, at, at the end of the course. And I give you my file too, if you just want to use my file. So it's built around these walkthrough videos. But you're saying to me, but Chris, walkthroughs, you know, you're quite fast when you code. It's sometimes difficult to follow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. So what I did was I went back and produced 24, 24 explainer videos, 24 explainer videos, uh, which start here. So E1, E stands for explainer, E1, E2, E3. I was like, I've got to break this down. So I aimed for 10 minutes. <laughs> I aimed for 10 minutes on each of these videos. But the idea of these videos is it is simple. These videos are simple. Most of these videos, I start with a blank spreadsheet. And I take you through building through, uh, building from beginner to professional level an Excel VBA simulation model. You are going to love it. So there's different ways you could do this course. You could say, yeah, I know we've got some experienced coders in the chat. And you might say, just give me the walkthrough. I just want to go professional VBA development with Chris an hour a day. You're going to love it. You're going to learn so much. Or you might say, I'm, I'm more a beginner level. You know, I prefer a structured learning approach. Bart was talking about a structured learning approach. Then just work through, work through the videos one by one. These are going to build such a good foundation in Excel, VBA and in Excel, because as you'll see, it's not just VBA. I throw in some of my Excel secret weapon formulae, secret weapon formulae. I've got three secret weapons in Excel, things that people never use. It's not new stuff. It's old stuff. I use them all the time in my project projects. It makes me laugh on YouTube. Nobody's talking about them. Um, the frequency formula is one of them. OK, so we've got the walk. We've got the walkthrough and we've got the explainer videos. That's not it. That's not it. Because I'm not going to leave you without context. Yeah. You know, my approach is a very pragmatic approach. If you can't understand the context of your projects, as Bart was saying at the beginning, you need some context. If you don't have context, then your projects are going to only have limited impact. So I called a favor in from a friend of mine who was a senior consultant and a big consulting company is now uh, an academic with many articles on data, data analytics. And he's also a guy I've worked with over the years. And I happen to know he's a really good bloke as well. I brought him in for an hour interview. And we're talking about Excel, analytics in Excel. We're talking about simulation modeling in Excel, but not the technical stuff. Yeah, you have enough of the technical stuff. This is going to give you really good uh, perspective. And also, uh, as a bonus, I threw in the Monty Hall simulation model because some people might be like, well, all these simulation problems, they're very complex problems. They are. They really are difficult to get your head around. The Monty Hall problem is nicely structured. You know, all the parameters are there. And it's a really good example of simulation and Excel actually solving a problem. So I throw that in for you, too. Overall, it's about 12 hours of runtime. What else do you get? Uh, well, you get some consultation time with me. Yeah. Now, I've spent a ridiculous amount of money on this website and branding. This website is going to be the hub of my business for the next 10 years. I'm going to build a world beating Excel VBA community around this website. So we can do all kinds of things on this website. But when you buy this course, it's not just a one off course. You're actually becoming part of a little community. I know I'm always talking about community, but you're becoming part of a little community because when I get questions about this course from my consultations, I'm going to put more videos on here. Yeah. 
So say, say uh, Ben buys the course, for example, Danny buys the course. We'll have a little consultation, a little Zoom call. Danny says, yeah, yeah, this video wasn't quite clear to me. You know, could you go through that again and apply it in this way? I might uh, do a video and that video is going to become available to people who bought the course. So over time, the content is going to grow and it's going to be a, a little community in itself. This course, 150 pounds, uh, you can go ahead. It's available for purchase now. Um, but I understand if you're going to wait because it is um, one lucky person is going to get a free copy tonight. So a few people in the, in the chat, quite rightly, are saying, what is put me in about? So uh, one person is going to get this course for free tonight. So put me in is about if you want to go into the prize draw, uh, we're going to do this at the end of the stream. And you have to watch to the end of the stream. But I can see Nimesh, for example, has said, put me in. Danny has said, put me in. Um, ben has said, put me in. The link to the course. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. What about a link to the course? Thank you, Salex. 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 Um, let me get the link to the course. I'll pop that in the chat now. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate you saying that, Lee. Um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the facts of the matter. Um, I teach on an MBA program at um, a leading university in the world. Um, I teach in a top 10 university here in the UK, you know, about one day a week. Um, those students, they pay about 200 pounds an hour to be taught by me. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Paying 200 pounds an hour to hang out with me? Unbelievable. That's a fact. I'm just telling you the facts of the matter. So so Lee's right. Lee's right. You know, you get a pretty good deal uh, for your money. And obviously, we're not actually going to be hanging out in person. But a lot of these students are in a lecture, you know, with, with, with many, many other students. So you are going to get a degree, at least, of personalized treatment on this course. Uh, uh, say, Salex. Salex. There we go. Salex. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to be with you tonight. And let me know. Um, it's your first time on the stream. Where are you in the world, my friend? Yeah, Ben, thank you for explaining this. He'll put it on the list tonight, the course that he's explained. So Bart, can you see how hard Bart is working? He is such a legend. Legend. I don't know, Bart, if you could write these into a spreadsheet for me. Am I, am, am I asking too much? But Yeah, I'm, um, I'm um, opening uh, an Excel file with the name and the hour of entries, but I'm feeling uh, some people entered more than one time. So okay. um, I will put it in an Excel file and uh, you can uh, do your magic afterwards. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Bart. Yeah. Okay, great. So we've got live. Ex <laughs> I love it how content <laughs> self generates. So yeah, Bart's going to send me the file. We'll do a data cleansing exercise. We'll do a data cleansing exercise on the yeah. file. That's something loads of people are trying to do in Excel. So we'll, we'll do the data cleansing and then we'll put the names uh, into, into the lottery and um, if you're watching at the end, you have to be watching. I will say this person is the winner. You have to respond to me in the chat. And then you have to email me and we may do some kind of verification to confirm who you are. Salex is tuning in from uh, London. Uh, DC says, yeah, remove, du remove duplicates. Simple enough. Yeah, that could be all it is. I'm just going to scroll at the chat and see. Um, OK, some questions about the course here. So thank you for these. Craig. Will it teach you to do forecasting and modeling for a finance related role? So the course isn't specifically for finance stuff, but the answer is yes. The techniques you're going to learn are on this course. You know, one thing the financial people need and just like everybody needs these days is can you analyze a data set? So if, if you're given a set of numbers, yeah. Uh, what they call continuous data. So with decimals in, what's your approach for analyzing that data set? And people in finance must be doing that, you know, all the time. And on, on the course, I go through the basic approach. I'll, I'll go through it now for you. You've got to do, you've got to know the frequency formula. Yeah. Because the free, the frequency formula is going to put the values into bins that allows you to generate a bar chart or a column chart more accurately. When you have a column chart, you can see the shape of the data. 
How is it distributed? Is it normally distributed? Is it is it skewed to one side? Approximately, where is where where is the central value? How dispersed is the data? So just some, something as simple as that, you know, um, lots and lots of people um, just miss that out uh, in their analysis. And certainly if you're a financial role, that should be absolutely basic stuff for you. But I'll tell you one thing with finance and all my friends who work in finance, one, they earn shed loads of money. And the second thing is um, all of them know VBA and all of them use or have used VBA. And they just, you know, it's great to be able to, uh, hang out with people sometimes who just intuitively understand the value of Excel VBA. So you're not always like, sometimes I rock up at a party, might be wearing a shirt like this. And I say, someone says, what do you do? For, first, I cover my face, you know, put my head in my hands. I hate that question. And then I say, um, oh, I help people with Excel. And people just laugh or they start ridiculing me. Um, you know, it's kind of just, just another day in my life, really. Not really. But that's a bit what it's like being an Excel person. And um, so it's nice occasionally to hang out with people who know intuitively the value of Excel. So Craig, that's the question. Uh, Natos says, Chris, that sounds like it's right down my alley. IPL, cricket, RNL, soccer. So one more thing about this. Uh, if you're a member, if you're a Members Monday member and you can go click join below this video, you can join Members Monday. Uh, Members Monday, we have a weekly live stream on a Monday with about 30, 35 people, people like Bart, uh, people like Lee. Uh, ben, are you a member? Are you Members Monday? I'm not sure if Ben Linford is, uh, but we've had a few other people who are members. Uh, just a really nice learning community. Uh, but if you're in Members Monday, email me. I will give you a 15% discount on this, a 15% discount, which means that uh, it's cheaper to join Members Monday and then buy it than it is just to buy it. So if you want to check out Members Monday, you know, you can just join up, pay, cancel the payment, and then you can be a Members Monday for a month and you can see what it's like. Okay, Bart, I know you're busy, but how's it going listing all the names? And how many names have we got, I'm wondering? Must have 30 or 40, I reckon. <laughs> um, I, I have written it down on paper and now I'm putting it in the Excel file, but... Um... Amazing. Yeah, Bart, maybe <laughs> maybe I should maybe I should have organized this properly. Who knows? No, I like this. I, I, I think I like something this. like yeah. uh, I, I of twenty for the moment that I already written down. So okay. um it will okay. uh, uh, take uh, a lot of time, I presume, but you have a lot to tell about uh on website, so Okay. I think, yeah, at some point, Bart, if you email it to me, um, I'll have to display it on screen so people can see if they're entered or not. But yeah. but guys, yeah, I mean, um, we reserve the right to make mistakes and to miss your name out. Okay. Uh, you know, this is, this is not the national lottery. Okay. Uh, so please um, take it in, in the spirit that it's meant, which is, you know, just <laughs> a bit of fun, really. Um, Good, good, good. Uh, somebody just said something good. Yeah, Natos said 62 were watching. Who was doing press-ups? You know what, Nathan, I would love to do some press-ups, but I'm actually mic'd up at the moment. I'm properly mic'd up today. So I can't I can't even move anywhere uh, to go ahead and do some press-ups. Some press uh, Mike said, oh, is, is the discount proportionate with the time served in Members Monday? Oh, nice try, Mike, nice try. I'm afraid not. Yeah, <laughs> DC's like clever sales tactics. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get yourself a Members Monday. Okay, uh, what's Mike saying? If you're successful, it all goes away when you die. If you're significant, you help other people become successful and it never goes away. Oh, Mike, that is a really nice comment and cheers to that. Okay, Carlos, thanks for your questions, Carlos. You're really helping me uh, explain here. What example do you use for simulation model build walkthrough? Well, my kind of whole argument around this course is at the practical level, something you have to do um, if you're working with any data in any role really is to generate random data, to generate random data. And that's what a simulation does. It generates uh, random data. So 
I say at the beginning, I try to generate three uh, data sets. I generate a set of financial data, which is like a set of bank transactions. I generate a database of information about dogs, believe it or not. Yeah, so you've got the dog name, the breed, and the weight. Um, I also generate randomly generated uh, lottery numbers as well. But the point about this, when I say randomly generated, we look at all kinds of different ways to do random generation, yeah? So it doesn't just mean there's the same chance of everything happening, yeah? Um, there's different probability distributions. There's the normal distribution in Excel. We can create a custom probability distribution so that we can actually control the likelihood of each uh, probability. And I go even further than that. So I actually make the probabilities contingent. They're contingent, yeah? So, and just, just try to stay with me here. And I just, I'm just trying to help Carlos and, and other people who are really thinking, you know, in detail about this. Um, if you did have to create some random data about dogs, for example, create some random data about dogs. So your first column, and this is exactly what I do. The first column is the breed of dog. Yeah, so you've got Labradors, we've got Boston Terriers, we've got uh, Jack Russells, we've got Great Danes, yeah? And then your second column is the weight of the dog, yeah? The weight of the dog. So what problems does that present, yeah? I'm speaking a bit loud here, just tell me if I'm picking up. What problems does that present? Well, one problem is you can't use the same probability distribution for each dog, yeah? Because a Jack Russell, doesn't weigh the same as a Labrador, yeah? Doesn't weigh the same as a Great Dane. So I show you how to program probability distributions in a very detailed way to really give a sophisticated set of random data to run a very sophisticated simulation. So I hope that gives you a sense, Carlos, of the kind of things uh, uh, that we cover. Okay, any other questions here? Uh, Nathan says, love it, Chris, good stuff. Yeah, 15% off. So yeah, members, Monday members, I will give you a one-time, a one-time, uh, one-use voucher. Okay, so you have to email me for it. I'll email it to you personally. Liju says, uh, Liju is looking through the website. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the uh, new website as well. I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, branding and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've been working with uh, a branding agency over the past couple of years and our, our original branding, um, or the 2012 uh, branding, uh, which is the red logo and all of that stuff, uh, that, that was getting a bit old. And the problem with the branding was um, it, didn't, it didn't give a clue that uh, the company does anything with Excel. That, that was a real problem that we were having. Tiger Solutions, mm, you know, what do they do? So we made it more specific, Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions, and actually designed a logo uh, that you can see here uh, that's reminiscent enough of Excel for people to think, oh, this might be to do with Excel. For example, you see, uh, you know, you see the green logo there, you know, that's an Excel color, and you've got the claw marks, got the tiger claw marks uh, on the logo. So that was kind of uh, what, what we were thinking. And then the website, yeah, we've got uh, three main offerings now. So consultancy, you can click through to, uh, to, to consultancy, and you can get, you know, a quick review of our, our consultancy offering. You know, and I would say I'm still uh, I'm still building this up at the moment. But yeah, if you know any friends in companies um, who need look at this guy, very suspicious, who need help with Excel, you know, we're very happy to talk about consultancy. Then we have courses, um, and in the fullness of time, uh, all of our courses will appear here. I haven't got all the courses on here yet. Uh, then the third offering is templates. So we're going to start making available uh, some for free, uh, some. Uh, chargeable, uh, specific templates that people are looking to use. You know, one of the templates I'm going to make available is a payroll template because I've done this job so many times. I've created Excel-based systems for people to run a uh, payroll. So they want to not quite payroll, but they want to process contractor payments. So they take, uh, they send uh, a little Excel file, a little timesheet out to people. People send those timesheets back in and then they collate them all. They want to collate them all into a single file. It takes them ages, takes them lots of time with VBA, bang, click of a button, done. So, so that kind of thing, going to provide a template for that. So people don't have to come to me and do a consulting project. They can come and say, actually, that's exactly what I need. 
um, that's that's what we're going to look for. Another thing I should mention at this point, I know we've got some FTS people here. I know uh, Sambo Cass is with us today. I know Lee is with us, and um, there might be a few other um, FTS people in the chat. So FTS is for people who do football trading or football betting, um, and I do a lot of work in that sector. We're going to build a specific offering around um, analyzing football data because uh, I've done so many projects in that sector and I know there's lots of people, there's a few of them in the chat, there's lots of people who uh, would benefit from that. So we're going to develop that before the end of the year. I'm going to start with a few videos, might do a membership, we might just sell one-off videos, might sell bundles of videos, uh, we're going to see how we go. But um, that's the idea. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, the rest of the website, we're still on the blog page. So all of the old articles are still available here. Now, I think I'm going to have to go through the process of applying, of changing the URLs, unfortunately, because I don't know if the old URLs actually um, convert to come here. I'm not sure. So I think I'm going to have to go through all the URLs. So what I mean is I know Betty uh, left a comment this week saying she can't load the download file down. What am I talking about? She can't download the Excel files on the YouTube channel. Yeah, because all the URLs don't exist anymore because they're now they're now pointing here. Um, so. Yeah, just bear with me on that and I will get these updated or I will update these myself um, as soon as possible. So that's a new website. And I would like to give a, a big shout out to uh, to Marv and Faye, who are from a little company called Fam uh, Collective. Um, and they did all of my uh, branding. So if you'd like to work with some cool uh, branding people, uh, very down to earth, very good ideas. <laughs> Marv built me these cool um, animations. He didn't tell me. He, he, he like colored all of these animations individually. Um, amazing work. And I absolutely love these animations now. So uh, that's the FAM, FAM Collective. They're called FAM Collective if you're after some branding work. I do uh, recommend those guys. Um, yeah, I've got a few questions down here. Uh, Paul says, yeah, are you going to include the Excel for Coaches templates? Yeah, yeah, Paul, we may well include that. You know, Excel for Coaches, I don't talk about on the channel because um, because it just gets too confusing, you know, the different things I do. But, um, yeah, we have a Facebook group that's called Excel for Coaches, and I work with a strength and conditioning rehab coach over in New Zealand. We just have a live stream every Wednesday at eight o'clock and we go through some Excel for coaches. So coaches are working in a very sports coaches, I mean, as opposed to like buses. Uh, they don't they don't do much Excel. But so uh, what am I talking about? Um, sports coaches, they're in a very data rich environment. You know, they have to be able to do lots of analysis, weren't necessarily trained to do it. So that's what we're doing on the Excel for coaches Facebook page. And Paul, bless him. Uh, Paul actually uh, tunes in on a Wednesday morning with us. Uh, but uh, DC says there's 38 people. So DC, big shout out for you. Um, absolute legend, DC. has been a long-term supporter of the channel. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Bart, how are you doing? I've put you under so much stress, man. I feel a bit guilty about this. Uh, no stress, Chris. No stress. But it's okay. it's really, if you like to do it in a good way in an, uh, in the file, uh i'm checking it that everyone can yeah, be there oh, sure. so yeah shall we make uh, it easier and say um you know yeah. we'll close we will close the entries at a certain time uh, do you think in minutes or have you another idea let's say or um, at ten... nine uh at uh, eight o'clock uk time Let's say um, Chris? let's say five five past eight. Okay, let's say five past eight. So on my on my computer clock now it's okay. On this clock on the screen, on this clock on the screen, it's um, two minutes past eight. We're going to close at eight minutes past eight. Okay, eight minutes past eight. So you got five more minutes. Okay. I know okay. you're on the phones, people. You got people coming okay. in. Get on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> No. Uh, so, um, so yeah. yeah, you've got about eight minutes. Um, <laughs> Lee says, I can't wait for the football templates yet. Yeah, we'll definitely put some out there um, in the fullness of time anyway. 
Alan is from FTS as well. So big welcome, Alan. Definitely interested in the, in the football trading course. Yeah, originally I was trying to do a course, Alan, but I'm really bad at like completing a whole course. You know, that's why it's been it's been a real effort for me to get this Excel simulation course done. Um, so we're going to do it in kind of bite-sized chunks. And I actually sent I sent a video out about it to about 20 people. So if you I don't know if you saw that video, Alan. If you didn't see the video, email me info at tigersolutions.co.uk. I'll send you the video. I'll talk about the ideas a bit more. Um, Matthew Davies. Yeah, welcome, Matthew. I don't think I've seen you on the stream before. Definitely interested to analyze football data as I'm an FTS mentor member. Yeah, same thing to you, Matthew. Um, I did little a little video to the FTS guys I know. So if you want me to send that video talking about the ideas and asking for your input, info at tigersolutions.co.uk. Uh, Nikki says, yeah, really good branding for the fan collective. Yeah, thank you, Nikki. Yeah, Nikki put me in touch with with Marvin Faye. So, um, yeah, thank you for that, Nikki. I hope you got a commission out of that as well. <laughs> um, Sam says, put me in, put me in, put me in. Mike is two minutes behind. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, we are going by this clock here, guys. Okay. We are going by this clock here. And as I say, we reserve the right to mess this up. Okay. There won't be any discussions or any complaints. We reserve the right to mess this up. It's just in the spirit of having a bit of fun, getting together, having a chat, having a bit. A coffee, a Diet Coke, a water, whatever you fancy. Good stuff. Um, so any uh, questions, guys? Got about five minutes to fill here. If I don't get any questions, I may start talking about Excel VBA. And um, I'm not sure if anybody uh, really wants that. Uh, yeah, so shoot me a question. Learning VBA, a particular formula, formula, what should you learn? Um, if you're interested in YouTube, any questions about the company, shoot me a question. Let's fill a bit of time um, before the quiz finishes. But looking at the clock, you've now got three minutes. Three minutes, hashtag put me in. Okay, good, good. I'll tell you what I can do. I can go back to the uh, lottery generator, yep. Yeah, so what we'll do when we get the data, um, we'll drop it into this file. Uh, we'll do a little uh, data cleansing exercise, maybe. A little um, data cleansing uh, demo, maybe. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. Paul says, have you checked out the choose formula? No, I haven't checked it out, Paul. Shall I check it out now? Is this a formula I should be using in my practice? Choose. Choose is a value or action to perform from a list of values based on an index number. Index number, value one, value two. Okay. Okay. Now, now Paul used this formula to choose between two values, didn't you? Um, so choose, Paul, we're going to have to go into it. We're going to have to go into it sometime. Okay, got a few questions uh, here now. So thank you. I'll try to keep these answers brief. Lee says, what's your long-term plans re-teaching tools? Going to see how it goes, Lee. Uh, but my long-term long -term direction of the business is to have at least one membership. We have members Monday at the moment. Possible introduction of a new membership, which is going to be called the Tiger Cub excel absolute beginner membership so that will be absolute beginner stuff that's possibly coming next year and then to have um various um courses released uh, around that courses aimed at particular sectors like football for example um but the the core of the business is going to be it's going to be membership stuff i'm going to just build that slowly over time i don't know if that answers your question your question lee but let me know uh, Deep Blue Zen. Welcome, Deep Blue Zen. How are you doing? I don't know if I've seen the chat before. Where are you uh, tuning, in, tuning in from? Do you have any tips to stop window focus stealing when using VBA across other applications? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't, Deep Blue. I'm afraid I don't. Um, when using VBA across applications, so you mean using VBA in PowerPoint or in Word? Um, I'm afraid I don't. I don't do any VBA with other, with other applications. I'm afraid deep blue. But if other people have got answers to that, uh, DC, have you got an answer to that, my man? 
Um, then other people got answers. I'll throw those in the chat. I'll throw them up on the screen. Uh, harsh deep welcome prerequisite knowledge for starting excel vba course the prerequisites for starting excel vba are having uh, a, a power source a laptop and probably an internet connection although you could probably get away without having an internet connection they are the prerequisites you have to have the technology um there are all the things you need desirable things um are a willingness to learn um, a good attitude, um, resilience, so being able to come back when it goes wrong. So if you've got the laptop, internet connection and power, and you have a good attitude, and you've got Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions or any other channel you want to follow, um, you're good to go. Harshdeep, I've got a video called um, The Most Important Thing in Learning Excel VBA from about two years ago, and I talk about, I talk about exactly that, so check that out. <laughs> people throwing all these technical questions at me. It's as if I'm an expert. Uh, is it possible to make code that fill up the whole RAM? I don't think the RAM will be pleased about that. No, sorry. Oh, the um, the random access memory. Um, I'm I'm not sure, Zen. I'm, I'm not, DC, 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 could you answer this one too, please, once you're done with, with, with that one? Okay, good question here from Danny. Danny says, what would you say would be the first things to master for a beginner okay i'll give you hmm danny what i would do is the 30 for 30 xl vba uh course that's free xl vba 30 for 30 beginner course um i don't want to summarize it off the top of my head now because i'll try to give a 30 second answer and it will be a five minute answer um we have another video series which is xl vba for beginners um, our most viewed video has got 1.2 million views. I'd start with that video. It takes you through four basic things. Uh, Danny. Uh, DC, this is an interesting one from DC. How do you ensure your recorder has clear text when processed? I've recorded a couple of things. Text comes out a little blurry. Yeah, good question, DC. A uh, trial and error. Uh, I can tell you the variables that, that that make a difference. The screen resolution seems to make a difference. The software you're using to record uh, seems to make a difference. Um, I don't have the technical answer. It's just trial and error for me. Trying with different monitors, like I've got three or four screens, um, and I just try the different screens, try the different settings in your screen recorder, try different screen recorders. I do my screen recording with um, Ice Cream Screen Recorder, or X split uh, if I'm doing any kind of streaming. So I've, I definitely recommend Ice Cream Screen Recorder. X split is has good days and bad days, but broadly speaking, it's pretty good. Yeah. Ice Cream. Ice Cream Screen Recorder, yeah. Uh, Bart's up to that. Yeah. Uh, Craig, okay. Motivate best to learn with work examples, but I'm not yeah. working. Awesome. Get any interesting examples that folks, folks can use for this. I missed several MMs. You may well have mentioned such. Motivate best to learn with work examples, but I'm not working. Okay, I'd say even if you're not working, you know, what what are you interested in? Um, something that you're interested in, or something that somebody in your family is interested in. Somebody around you, um, whatever communities you move in, has an Excel problem, you know. And I've got a series called. Um, how to make money from Excel. I've got 14 videos about how to get known as an Excel person and how to just get started out with a few projects. So I'd really recommend having a look at, uh, at that series, Craig. And um, the first step, this my simple tip is tell everybody you're into Excel. Yeah. It's a bit difficult now. People aren't socializing, but anybody you talk to say, I I I'm into Excel. You'll be surprised how many people go, oh, yeah. I've, I use spreadsheets. So, oh, yeah, I learned how to do VLOOKUP the other day. So the first step is to get a reputation in a small community as the Excel guy. That small community can be your house. It can be uh, the people you work with. Uh, it can be uh, the people you play cricket with. I don't know. That's that's a true story. At the uh, cricket club I play, where I play here in Nottingham, I got known as the Excel guy and, um, and got... 
a project which is one of my which uh, with a with an organization who seven years later is still is still a client of mine so just just some ideas that okay any other questions i'm sorry if i missed any there ah lucas yeah so lucas we've had an email uh an email exchange yep lucas we will definitely have a zoom chat and let's see what we can do okay lee's mentioned members monday yeah for people thinking about members monday no sales pitch uh, we have a content navigator tool. So after each Members Monday, I index 12 things that we talked about, put the timestamps in, you get that all in one file. So you can quickly find exactly the uh, the um, topics that you want. Thank you, DC. DC backing me up as usual with some technical answers. What a legend. Okay. Yeah, Nikki says the Tiger Cub idea is a great idea, especially with the support of MM. Like Members Monday, I think has been a success, you know, broadly speaking. Um, but the problem with Members Monday is um, is it's too high level for certain people. Um, and like when I'm doing a homework review of a file someone's been working on for three weeks, you know, you have a beginner come in, they see it and they just think, you know, I couldn't do that. They find it discouraging. Now the new website has a facility to um, to get people to pre-sign up if that makes sense uh, for a membership. So I could advertise the Tiger Cub membership. I've got I've got four or five people interested already. And then um, people would sign up, but you wouldn't pay until it started, you know, and we could start it uh, when we get 20 members or not start it at all if there's not any interest. So that's the kind of possibility that the website uh, opens up. Good, okay. Okay, just going through the questions here. Good stuff. Okay, I think that's everything. So, Bart, how are you getting on with the names? Okay, I'm uh, sending you the list. Um, I also put everyone, also the double or sometimes three times in it, with the hour of entry. Oh, um, I will you. send you the file now thank you but uh, the giveaway is now closed uh, guys. maybe now uh, closed. Uh, think, yeah uh if i typed the name uh, not really correctly sorry about that guys uh, uh okay. i have done my best in uh, a short uh, time um also the hour that i entered is the european hour it's my hour time so count one hour less it's not okay. uk time okay great brilliant thank you so much bart fantastic stuff okay right let's see if we can get into the old email here yeah let me know in the chat guys if uh, uh, would so you be I interested in the you... um oh sorry bart go on okay yeah i think the stream's lagging a bit because i'm trying to open my email here so my system's doing quite a lot of work at the moment um okay are you still with me bart here we go yeah but i've got the list yeah. so i'm assuming every yeah yeah i've got the list but um i'm downloading it now yeah if you just bear with us bear with us a second guys um yeah the stream is going to be a little bit laggy at the moment because um i'm having to do quite a lot on my system if you just bear with us but i've got your email but um yeah but there's no attachment not the attachment to it or yeah, there's that. There, there ah, no I put attempt. it in. I will try it. Okay, thank you. Mm. Yeah, good guys. And uh, yeah, let me know. Um, any interest, interest in um, a Tiger Cub Excel VBA absolute beginner? membership 
Yeah, let me know in the chat if that's of interest to you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, thank you to DC who's also sent this through to me. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think it's okay because DC has done an amazing job of this. But so I think I can just okay. use DC, you know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to copy this in here. Next. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Bart, um, DC, DC, DC's done a good job here, so I think I, I think we're okay. All right, I'll also send you a, a, the file again. Okay. So... Okay, good, good. Amazing. Okay, right, I've got the list here. Um, let's get rid of this. Got the list here. So, so as I said, guys... Um, I'll send you... You said it to me again, but okay, thank you. Um, I've got DC's version here, but which looks looks pretty good. But thank thank yeah. you so much, Bart, by the way, for doing that, and thank you to DC as well. Um, <laughs> no problem, no problem. So we've yeah. got a DC. Setup. DC was my backup. Yeah, <laughs> he's always my backup. DC is. Um, so does anybody know how this model works? Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to set it up now, aren't I? There's no way of me getting around this. I'm going to have to set this up. Right. Let's see what the parameters are. This model, random number, participants, A461, A106. Okay. So is it as simple as just copying these uh, formulae down, I'm wondering? Never simple, are they? Control D here. What's happened there? Control D here. Uh, control C. Control V T here. Okay, then we've got sequence number. Um. <laughs> Minus eight. There we go. Okay. And what what we do have in this model, exciting stuff is, um, I think everything's exciting in Excel. But we have this um, validation mechanism in the model that's going to going to run the model a thousand times in the background run the model a thousand times in the background and prove that the model is fair okay i will i will do that and i'll show you that what's going on here 44 participants yes okay do we have one at the end here this should work okay so i'm going to test this model now there we go so i'm just testing the model but i'll tell you when i'm actually running the model so at the moment, we're just calibrating, testing the model. Um, 0 0.0001, that should be Alan. Yeah, that's Alan. Um, OK, yeah, this, this looks all right to me. What I'm going to do is, um, let's see. In this model somewhere, there is facility to, to run it a 1,000 times and to actually validate it properly, but maybe. Let's see if that's easily accessible in here. <laughs> lottery, test, test the lottery. That's that's what we want. Okay. Let's run it. Um, let's run it a thousand times. Yeah. Oh, is that going to take ages? Let's run it 500 times here. Okay. Right. Let's see what happens. Running this code. How many tests do we want to run? 500 times so guys i'm only testing the model with this this is not the final choice here okay and nathan's right we need somebody doing the drum roll okay and and the the file is probably going to crash anyway oh there we go uh, the file is probably going to crash when i uh try to do this test anyway i'm going to save the file now in case that does happen um developer Visual Basic, okay, F5 here, run this. Let's have, 
Okay, I'm going to just try 50 tests first. Okay, 50 tests seem to work fine. Okay, good. Right, let's try 1,000 tests then. Lottery. Okay, F5. Okay, 1,000 tests hit. So I'm still testing this, still testing this. And this, this is, a, is an example of what? This is an example of um, Excel VBA simulation. Another example of Excel VBA simulation because we're taking the distance between zero and one and we're dividing it up between a number of different outcomes. In this case, each of the 44 people has a little bit of that distance between zero and one. And then we're dropping a random number in whichever bin the random number falls into it's that person that's the principle uh, of what we're doing here so we've just run the lottery a thousand times and this tells me okay this tells me that the model is not ready okay we just need to take this down okay we take it down to there take the others down as well yep take these two down Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, how can I say, a little bit of tidying up to do. Okay, now we can run it again. Let's run it again a thousand times now. So still testing the model here, a thousand tests. Okay, yeah, a few people interested in the Tiger Club membership. Alan's interested, fantastic stuff. Good stuff. Yep. Well, we'll definitely look at that, Alan, and, and uh, keep an eye on the website and uh, get on our mailing list and Twitter and stuff. I'll, I'll be talking about it on that. Because so this looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm looking in the wins column. So we've done a thousand iterations. How many times did everybody win? And and, and does it look reasonable? Yeah, it looks, looks reasonable. Uh, Alt plus at the bottom here, Alt plus is going to add them all up and they do add up to a thousand. Okay, so what's that? That's a validation exercise. On the course, we taught loads about validation, different ways to validate a data set because generating data randomly is one thing, but what if the data is, ju is just wrong? So we've got to be able to va validate it. Right. I think we are. Hmm. I think we are ready. I'm going to just clear this. Now, let me be clear. Uh, the winner is the name that displays in the message box at the end. It's not It's not a name that displays at any other time. Um, and as I said, um, Bart and I and Tiger Solutions Limited reserve the right to get this wrong as well. Um, so there won't be any complaining or any uh you know um appeals or anything like that it's only really a bit of fun okay nikki too is interested in the tiger cub stuff good stuff right are you ready to go then bart shall we do this yes ready to... i will do, do the rumbling then okay the drum roll okay okay let's go we're starting yes here we go there go the balls Exciting stuff. Look at those balls go. It yes, does seem to have slowed down to the beginning of the stream. Here we go. Such tension. Who will win? <laughs> Who will win it? Mm. Here we go. Could be here for a while, guys. Yeah. <laughs> My hands right, are already getting ball. tired. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Here comes the winning ball. Are you ready, guys? Here it comes. There's our winner. D12345J. D12345J. Have the Russian bots won this one as well? I'm not sure, but um, if this is you, You've got to tell me you're here in the chat now. And you've got about you've got about a minute to do that. OK, in fact, let's go on this clock. You've got until half past eight to do that on this clock. OK, this clock is currently on 2028. You've got until 2030. You've got to tell me in the chat that you're here 
because we said yeah. at the beginning you have to be here hmm i'm also looking wait? at the chat so if not we give it another go chris exactly yeah but we'll give it uh, one more um one more minute so as i said until half past eight uh, on this clock here uh because the stream i think we're about 20 or 30 seconds ahead mm -hmm. there we go yes yeah yes okay okay so d1 congratulations two, three, four, five. congratulations well done and um You've got to send me an email now, and the email is info at tigersolutions.co.uk. Uh, that, that information is on the website too. Uh, so send me an email, and let's sort this out for you. Okay, I'll sort it out for you as soon as possible. So big congratulations uh, to D12345J. <laughs> I don't think that was the, the name your mother gave you, but uh, but a big congratulations <laughs> and um, a big thanks once again to Bart for helping me out and to uh, DC yeah. over in Missouri uh, for helping me out as well. Exciting stuff. And um, as I said, the course is on sale now. Let's go and have another look at the beautiful the, the beautiful branding and stuff. The course is on sale now. Earlier in the stream, I did kind of a 10 minute talk through uh, of the course, you just head over to the website and hit um, uh, go to the course and just hit buy, and um, I will you'll be in touch with me because part of the course is having a consultation with me. Okay, Darnell, Darnell, congratulations, well done. It's good that we now uh, we now know your name. So here's the course that you've won. There it is. Congratulations, and um, looking forward to seeing what you make of this material because. Um, a lot of effort has gone into it behind the scenes. I can tell you that much. Good. And some congratulations come in. So very magnanimous in defeat, Mike and everybody else saying, well done. HD Merkins as well. Good job. Yeah. So shoot me, uh, shoot me an email and, uh, and we'll get, we'll get that sorted. So, so Bart, um, where do we go from here? Do we keep streaming? I mean, we're still at fifty-six people online. And one thing I haven't done, Bart, is I haven't I haven't had your yeah. beer. So I think I'm going to yeah, have your beer. I, my beer is all already empty. This this is shocking. Okay, I'm I'm going to get on with it. I'm going your, to open your my beer, beer is 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 hot now. I think it's gonna not gonna be the same. Uh, I'm being so English, aren't I? I think I'm, so. I'm, yes. Having a warm beer. Yeah. <laughs> So, what do you want to do then, guys, for, for the next for, for the duration of me drinking this beer? Uh, what do you want to talk about? And um, so, yeah, go on, Bart. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I I have two questions. Um, yeah, maybe I, I missed a few things. Yeah, cheers with my empty glass. Then, <laughs> cheers. cheers, Bart. I will get I will get me another one. I have a full yeah. fridge of it. So. Oh, good, good. Um, no, two questions I have for the, the people that are in the chat um, and maybe kind of directly to people that are not in Members Monday and people that are in Members Monday. Um, the people that are still not in Members Monday and kind of know now or before, why do you don't why don't you join Members Monday? Is it about the price? Is it because you are scared that it's too too uh, too much information because the class is now almost a year? Why are you not joining Members Monday? And for the people that are maybe uh, beginners in Members Monday are like me from almost a year, uh what do you find the positive and the negative thing about members monday so for me it's all positive but um it's for me not that this chris is paying me or something like that i said it in the past it's because i uh believe and i i find myself good in the education uh the way that chris is uh, doing it in members monday um do you like it I love it. 
that, that's a complex beer, right? That is lovely. Yeah, it's it's the blonde yeah, style. Yeah, uh, that's lovely. that's the flavor is the the flavor is um is incredible. Mm. Yeah, you didn't taste this one. This is more sweet. It's uh, okay. with the cherry. Next time, next time we'll definitely try that one. So I I will send you a full crate then. Hey. <laughs> this, sounds, this, this is good news. Yeah. Okay. This. So so far, this, um, is, this is good for uh, Michael. Michael said, um, "I'm not sure if I can make the live stream, so I'm not sure if I should do 99p or fifteen dollars." And two, I feel I'm still too new. Well, firstly, Michael, thank you so much for you know speaking up. And um, yeah, Bart, what do you think? What what would you say to Michael here? Yeah. My point of view is, I I understand your point of view. Um, paying for something and not kind of looking at it uh, live, I can understand that. But the positive thing that I can say in this year, uh, there are a few Mondays that I didn't manage to to look at uh, live. I always can look at it uh, multiple times after it um, and when you get to a, a Monday really live you always can ask Chris or another member in the Facebook page if you have a problem with something and uh, also you have the uh, the file that Chris made that you can uh, easily look up everything that is talked about in every session ever made in members monday so um i found 15 pounds not really a lot of money um but i i don't have to make someone uh someone's uh wallet um but for me because it's my hobby uh if you see now the price that's still cheap uh that chris is offering the full course uh, for uh, 150 uh, pounds. Um, I really looked it up. VBA courses are really expensive. Um, and if you are kind of like me in a hobby, uh, I think it's, 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 it's worth a shot to try it. And it's not that you are paying something and need to pay it for a year, but a lot of things are. If you say it's not okay for me and i cannot use it you still can say okay i stop with it and maybe come back in a few months uh, later mm. yeah absolutely yeah just to underline what bart said yeah uh, we have the content navigator which i'm showing you now so this file i update every week and it's got uh, every session has a um, ha has a summary so if you click on these it's a timestamp. it takes you to the point in the session where we're talking about that thing um and that means you can uh, select a particular topic for example uh, uh project approach i want to learn when members monday is when the members and chris are talking about how to approach a vba project you can click that and click generate uh this file then stacks up all of the times that we've mentioned that topic and you can just go just go and click them so i call this a training plan uh generator so it's a great way to find exactly what you need on uh on on members monday you know I'd, I'd, and i'd say you know if um if you can you know just give it give it a go for a month you know pe people have come and gone and you know it's not it's not it's not like we're getting married yet it's <laughs> <laughs> it's not that's not <laughs> yeah <laughs> just, just, just just come and drop in uh, and have a look um just a quick question here from zemran again seven four 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 do you think SQL and VBA is a powerful combination? If yes, do you think about creating an SQL course? I've got to be honest with you, my friend. I am a one-trick pony. Pony. I only really do VBA. Um, I'm working on a project at the moment, though, where they're trying to move away from SQL and, and get stuff into get stuff into VBA. So um, Excel is good at um, tapping into um, SQL databases now. You can, you can create links to Excel da uh, SQL databases, get the data into Excel. So there's certainly potential for exploring that kind of thing. But, you know, 
I might be biased, but I'd say if you're learning one language, I, I still think Excel is um, is the best way to go. Excel VBA. Some nice stuff about the membership. Thank you, guys. Lee says, a positive of being a Monday's member, good group of people learning together and feeding off each course. Hmm. Okay, good. Um, yeah, Anwar. Yeah, good question, Anwar. Anwar saying, so um, because at the moment I'm running the membership with you through YouTube and that will probably change next year. I'll probably shift the membership to the website. At the moment, YouTube only offers memberships in certain countries. Uh, I don't know why this is. I have no idea. So if it's not available in your country, you know, I can only apologize for that. And as I said, I plan to move the membership over to the website at some point. So by then you should be able to, you should be able to join. And of course, um, the paid product should be uh, available to you because it's run through the website. Uh, DC, yeah, thanks, thanks for DC's uh, input. I mean, I think for somebody who's kind of very experienced, you know, I, I could see why you probably wouldn't join. You know, I could see that because it is definitely aimed at, at, at Excel learning, you know, and DC mm -hmm. is very experienced in the field. Um, Okay, Craig is saying, yeah, for people who aren't members, oh, Siri, Siri, <laughs> sorry, Siri's getting, trying to get involved with the stream. For people who aren't members, how would you pick the level of MM? I've missed most since joining uh, post 3030. So with the MM streams, I try to do a range. So some of the streams are from a, a blank canvas stream. So we start with an empty file. So they're absolute beginner level. Other streams, we start with a file, often a member file, and those streams are more advanced. Um, so it's it's a range, really. Um, but, you know, I would say even if you're a beginner, you know, you're coming into a stream, you don't have to understand everything that's going on. That, that's the thing. You know, when I look at VBA code, it's not like I look at it and can understand it straight away. You know, that's, that's just not how it works. I, I have to look at it, step through it look at the file, get the two screens going and do all that. Um, so it's perfectly good for you to be to be in there just absorbing absorbing it and building relationships, building a bit of a relationship with me, with Bart and with the other members. You know, it's a really nice uh, community in there at the moment. Yeah, so definitely uh, read through the chat and read some of the uh, some of the um, some of the uh, comments coming in here. Uh, Tapani, Tapani, how are you, my friend? It's good to see you. Haven't heard from you for a while. You can exploit Excel's data table functionality to conduct simulations. Interesting. I've already mentioned my, I've already mentioned my um, uh, secret weapons, and um, frequency is one of them, and data table is another, uh, an Excel data table. But um, I'm not sure how you would get a data table to work with a simulation because a data table um, and plenty of people will, will never use the data table but if 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 you have a model if if you have a model then um you have input process and output a data table is going to take lots and lots of inputs and put those into the model so that you can write down the output of interest yeah rather than you putting those inputs into the model and writing them down Excel is going to write them all down and you could you can test 500, 1,000 values, uh, as many values as you want. That's what a data table does. If you combine a data table with stochasticity, which is random numbers, it doesn't quite work because every time the data, data table generates a new value, it actually changes the random numbers. So 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 it doesn't quite work with simulations, in my experience anyway. Uh, Tapani, But I don't know if I've quite answered your question there, but just shoot me an email, Tapani, if you want to discuss it more. And Michael saying, thank you, Chris and Bart, for the advice. You helped me make my decision, and I'm going to join. Uh, Betsy, have you ever exported an Excel data table to a PowerPoint file? Um, personally, I haven't, Betsy, got to be honest with you. I'm such a one-trick pony when it comes to Excel, uh, Excel VBA. So, um, no, but I know lots of people do it, so you'll be able to find information about that. And yet, uh, it's been good to have you on the channel, Betty, as well. You know, I know, I know you're quite new to the channel, so I've been following your comments, following your progress. So uh, a really nice job here. Very suspicious character here. I think this is one of my old students, uh, Charlie. 
So, Charlie, how are you doing? And um, are you aware that VBA is an unsupported language and that Python does everything VBA uh, does, and, does and more? Um, okay, so let me put it, let me put it, put, put this to you, uh, Charlie. So, um, I would say, why why don't you have a Formula One car in 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 your drive? Is 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 what I'd say. You know, it'd be nice to drive that fast. You know, it's it's the fastest car, yeah. But um, a Formula One car, well, you're gonna you're gonna need a pit crew. You're gonna need some kind of maintenance crew. It's gonna be you know you got you got all, all, all kinds of kind of, kind of problems with that. You know, the fact it it does more and that it's faster doesn't mean that it's the most practical you see and um if you're getting jobs this 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 is the crux of it for me and the reason like i'm not a university now so i can actually speak so, uh, speak my mind a bit but the reason students love python is because they love solutions and because they love doing problems on their own yeah so they're like let's just use the fastest one to do it and get the answer yeah because all we need uh, is the answer. In the real world, you're in a situation where you're working for other people. You're not just getting answers for yourself. So anything that you create, if you want to have any impact in the world, anything you create, you have to be able to share with somebody else. All the Excel files I create on projects are shared with customers. They share those files with their customers. So you have to have a platform a platform that's easy to share yeah and the way things are at the moment excel is on everybody's systems and um mm. it's just an easy to use platform so yeah it's not it's it's not as fast as python you know blah 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 blah. but i'd say there's plenty of stuff that excel does that python doesn't if i just want to send you a report there you go it's in excel and you can have it you know python doesn't uh, python doesn't do that so um I do this like people just get obsessed with with speed and it becomes like it, it just becomes an ego thing. You know, I can do I, I can do it faster than you. I, I can get the answer faster than you. In the real world, if you want to make money and have a career, yeah, it that's that you've got to get out of that mindset. Seriously, it does it it does annoy me that mindset. But Charlie, I know you're a good lad, so uh, so 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 it's all good, mm. my friend. Um who else have we got here? Anything else to add on that one, Bart? Yeah, I totally agree what you uh, just said, Chris. Um, I have seen a lot of programs uh, in the past, and I'm not totally not an expert, but I am uh, didn't did a, I did some code since the the, the DOS uh, period. So since yeah. I was twelve, and I'm now forty four um and uh, the funny thing is the a lot of programs uh the systems that i use in my other work uh that i did two years ago when we needed a kind of report it was always exported to excel always <laughs> but it was yeah. totally not excel mm. so it's it's I agree. There is a, a difference between uh, I, I, you, you want something fast done and, and some, some kind of firework system. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. I totally agree. Ex VBA maybe is not the solution, but in the real life, I've seen a lot of programs and in the real life when financially or, or other things, the programs that I used in the past, and I'm thinking more in a, I'm working in a clinic. Um, so I have seen a lot of programs and most of the time, maybe 90%, almost 100% is always in a kind of way exporting or making a link in Excel or maybe in Word, but it's always using something that the kind of, uh, direct or indirect way to excel and yep. my question is if vba is not really the code why it still exists vba why still excel exists but mm. if you look back 
when the starting point was of Office and Excel and Word and all of that, I think there is there are a lot of other things. Uh, Google made uh, a lot of things. Um, there are a lot of free uh, softwares. Um, mm. So, but Excel is still kind of the basic thing that you are using. And VBA is also in the other programs, maybe not directly the yeah. same because you have to um, take uh, copyrights uh, to the uh, to the mind. But uh, mm. yeah, it's I don't I I I get really triggered by this. I don't I, I don't quite know why, but it's to do with um, it's very much to do with like what your outlook on life is. I think you know. Do you want analysis mm. to be to, to be the preserve of just a few people who, you know, have the specialist software, who have the programming mm. language, who have the computational power on their systems to be able to run these vast alg algorithms? Or is your outlook that programming mm. and analytical skills should be broadly available and that, you know, um, mm. Uh, learning analytical skills should be a bit like, you know, go, going to the gym, you know, I mean, um, yeah. 40 or 50 years ago, like, no, I always think it's funny that 40 or 50 years ago, I watched a documentary on this mm. recently. Nobody used to go jogging uh, 40 or 50 years ago. Um, and then people started mm. going running and like, people were like looking at them and it, and it was all a bit strange. But jogging now, now everybody jogs and it's perfectly normal. So could kind of data mm. analysis move in that direction and become something that doesn't have this whole stigma attached to it. And people who are saying, use Python and use everything else, you know, for me, mm. they want to make it more esoteric. Yeah. And that that's yeah. why it triggers mm -hmm. me. Um, because um, I think we should all be about trying to make it more um, accessible. Yeah. Um, for example, um, at my work, uh the the work that i did two years ago there was a program to plan transportation with patients it was totally programmed with a software company and uh yeah nobody yeah. understood it yeah. totally no one they yeah. had to explain I mean... it to us how to, to uh, use it and all of that and that brings frustration with excel word whatever everyone yeah. knows it in a kind of way yeah yeah absolutely um i just want to address mm -hmm. dc's comment here so it would be cool if this community had a forum or a message board so members members monday does you know assuming you're on facebook here uh, you can see uh, we've got polls on here so members posting on here uh members uh sharing files on here uh, me posting additional videos we've done on here. So yeah, we do have something approaching a kind of a community message message board mm. here with uh, Members Monday. Um, yeah. Okay, let me just catch up with a few questions here. Uh, there's there was a question there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, along the same lines here from H. D. Merkins. Yeah. Uh, do you think VBA will be here in the years to come? Will Microsoft be moving to script lab? Well, um, the way things are going, um, moving towards the cloud, and as far as I see, Microsoft is trying to make the Excel online version of Excel. So, you know, when you open a file without downloading it, you open it in a web browser effectively. Uh, Microsoft's trying to make that version of Excel, uh, you know, as close to possible as close as possible to desktop Excel. And as part of that, they're developing a JavaScript based language, which is called uh, Office Script, which, which exists now. And Office Script, you can run uh, online because it's JavaScript, you, you can run it online. So you can use it on Excel online. Uh, so that does exist. Um, it doesn't have anything like the power of VBA. And um, I think well, it, it would be madness for X, for Microsoft to stop V. Just say we're going to stop VBA. If and I, I, I don't think they'll they'll do that because there's tons of people like me and the um, twenty or thirty people I've got on my little invoice register here who who are working with uh, VBA based uh, applications. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, I mean, it, it does trigger me this because <laughs> the, the kind of dominant narrative, um, it's not shaped by the people, by, by the kind of people I work with, you know, outside of the big corporates who, who all need everything in the cloud, they need to be able to share everything. There's thousands of individuals, micro-sized businesses who are very happy working on working on the desktops and then maybe sharing a few files you see and um you know in the mm -hmm. uk i think it's like 80 or 90 percent of companies are smes you know so there's huge amounts of people involved with in organizational problems where they're not trying to move towards the cloud you know they're not trying to move towards sharing everything all the time they're not trying to move towards web-based versions of everything for those people Excel VBA is, is, is having an impact. And um, the problem is the dominant narrative is set by the big companies who have the people to do the promotion. They have the people to write the LinkedIn posts, to write the social media posts. Mm. But the dominant, like be critical, the, dom the dominant narrative is not necessarily what's happening, okay? And, and you know, Bart knows and people in Members Monday know, and people on the channel know, and I know, from the amount of emails I get and the amount of time my phone rings, there's lots and lots of people working on their desktop who need to get things done, who have heard about the power of VBA. Mm. So for me, I don't know why it triggers me because um, that kind of question, I think, uh, but then I look at the evidence of what's happening, what's happening in my business and what's happening on, on, on my YouTube channel, you know, uh, 40,000 subs, millions of views. Um, yeah, you just just look at all the evidence. Okay, so is is is, is my friendly mm -hmm. advice on that one? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, um, yeah, it's the, the the thing also is Chris that yeah, um, for a private user or a company with a lot of money, they are maybe already using Office uh, three hundred and sixty, but. I can say from experience that in a clinic, for example, they are not using the, the latest office version. It's too expensive. Yeah. They are working on the, the laptop or the PC. And when they are sharing something, not uh, in the company itself, they are using a kind of VPN connection that they can connect to the file that is on the server of the company and not yeah. really uh, looking in a cloud system. Um, yeah. I think a lot of companies are also scared when they are going in the cloud. It's maybe easy to access, but is it 100% safety? But they give all the information and all the, the private files to a company that have kind of all the power at that moment so yeah. i don't i don't believe that uh, excel or vba will disappear in any kind of moment because the cloud is easy but i think or is it's a company with a lot of money or is it more like a, a private use like like yeah. i i use a lot of cloud systems but it's not the same with a company with a lot of information that you don't want to lose or the, uh, it's is the i think the biggest nightmare that that a company can can use this file with a, a hack or or a, in it will be lost in any kind of way so i don't believe yeah. in it i totally agree with your statement and also the idea of um i respect the idea of some people but saying that it's all all going to a cloud i don't i don't agree on that mm. i've got people who i work with I, I work with two kind of high net worth individuals i say and um they both detest the idea of putting their files onto a cloud-based system because um yeah because because of those uh, security issues you say yeah, Michael, a uh, mm -hmm. big, big welcome to the membership. And thank you for joining, Michael. And uh, I've just admitted you to the Facebook page as well, Michael. So um, uh, it'll be good to see you there. Uh, Patrick, welcome, Patrick. Uh, yeah, if you click join below the this video or below any other YouTube video, 
uh, you should be able to see the details of joining the membership. That's assuming, of course, that YouTube supports membership in your country. I don't know where you are, Patrick, and they're not support. It's not supported in all countries at the moment. Um, okay. Any other questions here? Cal says, "Fantastic work, Chris. I haven't been watching you for a while, but I respect your work and willingness to spread knowledge." Thank you, Cal. Good to see you again. Okay, Nikki's, yeah. Nikki's saying, what what about the new trend of home working? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think this this is gonna help help shape things a bit, but um whether certainly it, it affects where people are physically, but whether it actually affects the IT infrastructure much, you know, I'm 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 not sure. You know, I, I don't work for a big organization myself. Maybe other people in the chat could comment on that. You know, have you had changes to IT infrastructure and systems? Uh, recently because more more people are doing uh, homeworking you know I would imagine um, I would imagine that uh, some companies have yeah and, and HD don't don't worry about triggering me lots of stuff triggers me you know when people are rude about my dog I get triggered yeah I, I get triggered all the time you know don't worry about it but I just I just think with this debate there's the, there's no balance in it because some voices get amplified and other voices just don't so I uh, as, as I would say to anybody, look at all the evidence and then make up your own mind. But make sure you look uh, you look at all the evidence first. Yeah, Patrick's, Patrick's in the UK. Yeah, so Patrick, yeah, you should be able to click join below this video and uh, you should be able to um, to join us. Good, good. So yeah. any final question, guys, questions, guys, let me know. Uh, if not, I'll um, I'll hand over to Bart just just for some final um, some some final thoughts, Bart. Jerry Springer style final thoughts. Did, did you ever used to watch the Jerry Springer show? <laughs> yeah, but that's, okay, that's you a remember long time. That. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But so now at this moment that we we had the argument uh, the argument in uh, like the Jerry Springer style. We didn't have yeah. the fight, but. <laughs> uh, um, um no um i think at this point um we all need to look at uh, at tiger and Ms. monday to learn and also uh, all the things that we talked about today it's it's a positive feed learn from each other and i think this is a kind of the the example what also member monday is and what people can do if you have the same interests uh, mm. about Excel and VBA and like to learn something, uh, all the people that uh, are online today, it's not because they are uh, have have to look at at, at this uh, because they are interested in, uh, in Excel in in VBA. Uh, what are the possibilities? Uh, what is the what uh, does the future? Sure. So, uh, for the people that are not joining Members Monday, I I really hope you learn a lot. But uh, my experience is you can buy a lot of books, but VBA code is so uh, amazing, big and endless. I think you never can learn it from a book. Uh, you can learn a lot of things from a book. Uh, you have to go on the internet and then you need to get some help. Um, that is from Chris or somebody else to get some help uh, to learn the code because it's so big. It's more than a library. Uh, it's, it's, it's endless. It's endless. And the ways that you can uh, program the same thing with another kind of code in VBA, I think uh, the people that are in members month we have a lot. Every member has his own version to make the same result. So, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it no, was no, a makes... really nice stream. So yeah, Very, I hope really we can enjoyed it do yeah. in the future uh, again. Yeah, I hope we can do it uh, more often. Yeah, maybe we'll do it once a month or something. You know, Friday, we'll call it the Friday, yeah. Friday, Friday giveaway or something. Yeah, With a nice yeah, yeah. beer. Yeah, 
yeah yeah the, <laughs> the spreadsheet social kind of thing um i'll just deal with a couple of questions before we yeah. go about so tapani um yeah. what are the fundamentals yeah. of vba and excel so tapani i released a video a couple of months ago called um uh it's something like what you need to know about excel for a job interview in covid 19 what you need to know about excel in a job interview so the idea is you go into a job interview you don't know a lot about excel so what are, what are the main things i need to know uh what are the fundamentals so check out that video you know i i spell it out uh, in that video uh, Mohammed says, uh, is VBA worth it against, against Power Query? It's the same kind of argument, Mohammed. Uh, in, my, in my view, VBA versus Python, VBA versus anything. Um, Power Query, yep, super powerful. Um, the clue's in the name. But can you hand that over to a customer? Yeah. So you've got to decide what kind of, what kind of um, jobs are you doing. If you're doing stuff for yourself, you know, that's... I'm not in that game. That's the thing. I don't do stuff for myself. If I was doing stuff for myself and doing research like academics, students, whatever, I probably would be using Python and Power Query and everything else. So what works for you and then, but what's going to work for your customer, you see? And if in the future you plan to do jobs for other people and if you want to move into consultancy or freelancing or have a Microsoft, Microsoft business or even just help people informally, you're going to have to use a platform that other people can access easily and, and power query you know it's not always easy for other people to manipulate so just just some thoughts for you there mm. um okay i think i think we covered all the questions there good good yeah i think we covered all the questions there okay so bart okay. uh thank you so much and uh, and thank Thank you to Bart and thank you to uh, to to everybody. I've had a really nice time tonight. Go and check out the new yeah. website and um, check out the new course. I'll put a, a link in the description below if you want to go and check out the new course. And um, yeah, Bart, last last thoughts from you? Uh, no, I think I said everything. Um, I Fantastic. I only can uh, I only can. Um, reply the same things I said before uh, about uh, the Power Query and VBA. I use Power Query in the, the past. And I think VBA can be more, it can be better for everyone. Uh, it's it's kind of the same with all, all what you said, Chris. Power Query is more, you, are you using it for yourself or are you using... Yeah. Is it for somebody else? There's a big yeah, it depends, difference because it depends what kind of customer you're really talking about. Yeah. You're doing. yeah, yeah, So yeah, no, VBA, fair you can make it that it's it's dynamic, and the user don't need to know the VBA code, but can adjust like he wishes. Yeah, that's that's what I say. Yeah, good stuff. And you know, just just to finish off. Um, yeah. Yeah, all th these these are only my opinions, guys. You know, and, and my opi my opinions and, and Bart's opinions, and you know, you got to you got to find your own way. And uh, all I would say is, you know, yeah. make sure you're getting all of the available information. You know, not doing things because someone's told you to do it, or because you've read a post on LinkedIn or something like that. And the best way is to make sure you're part of a community, because communities people take mm -hmm. care of, take care of people. Bart takes care of me. I know other people in Members Monday can take care of me. So whether you want to get into Members Monday or just get into the YouTube channel, get into the live streams, you know, we're very happy to have you here in our community. So that's it for today, guys. And we'll see you very soon on the channel. Take care. Okay. Bye.